Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome, I'm Sim UK. I want to show with you or share with you a game today. It's called Gearhead Karting. It's from uh, developers Gearhead Studio. Apparently, it's their first game, and it's published by Midnight Games. Midnight Games appear to be a company that are going to saturate the Steam um, uh, web page with relatively decent, but rather simple games uh games that don't take a lot of development they don't cost a lot i mean we're talking literally a couple of pounds each um faith and shield tower defense uh is interestingly their most expensive game thus far uh and also one of their least positive games but 60 percent is still not bad and it's not a million miles away from being decent now we come on to uh, Gearhead Karting, which came out on the 12th of September 2023. There's a lot more to this game than you might initially suspect. Um, and they've sent me this key to review for them. Now, I put together an hour-long review where I covered everything. We played the game for an hour. I reviewed it in depth. And, well, unfortunately, I've been working very hard since I came back off holiday and for some reason, when I hit the upload button, I immediately deleted the file before it actually had a chance to upload. So I'm recreating this video. It's going to be a damn sight shorter. Um, you'll see in a minute why I asked them to send me a key for this game. Because if you look at the, the, the graphics here, you might think, mm, okay, that looks pretty basic, pretty simple, pretty boring. But uh, it does say here, the ultimate kart racing game with deep customization, realistic physics, and a variety of game modes. Build, tune, and race your way to victory. Now that is enticing, is it not? And you can see here a little sneak peek on this picture. Um, we are actually going to get a workshop where we can work on the cart. We can change parts, take stuff off, stuff gets damaged, um, and stuff sort of wear, you know, it's a bit of wear and tear. You see up here we've got some spray paints and stuff and we can change some of the colours on the cart as well. So, um, yeah, potentially uh, it has a really... I mean, the concept is absolutely banging, but it's rather under-realised. I'm just going to continue from where I left off. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the um, keyboard and mouse for now. You can see that all my wheels, my front right wheel is broken. Um, my rear right wheel is broken. Um, rear left wheel is broken. If you look in the bottom right hand corner, you can see how much money I've won through racing. $898. Um, and this is also pretty cool. Let me just jump out here. So what you do in the game... For some reason I can't jump out there. Enter marketplace. Okay, that's a weird quirk. Uh, let me try it with the keep with the controller. No, that's not letting me go out there. That is strange. Okay, so what you do at the beginning is you go out here to the marketplace, and there's a bunch of go karts there in various states of repair and condition and capability and stuff. And you have to buy one, and then you have to fix it up, get it race ready, and take it out and race. You see how everything. Um, has got some damage. The radiator's damaged, the steering wheel's damaged, the front suspension tank, uh, sorry, the front suspension and the fuel tank is damaged. Everything wears and tears a bit too quickly. Um, let's see if we can, here we go. So this is an overview. See on the left hand side, I bought this cart for I think 800 bucks or something. I fixed it up completely. It was worth three and a half thousand. Um, but I've raced it quite a bit since then. I've done about 10 races or something. But now it's in a condition... I basically wanted to race it until we got to a, a point where it needed um, repairs. And you see, bottom right-hand corner, issues found. Can't start race with this cart. And you can't start the race with this cart because of all the broken parts. So what we need to do is try and fix them. Um... Let me just try and remember how to do this. I think X. There we go. So you can bring it over here to the repair centre. 
it's rather disappointingly it fixes it like that Ta ding wheel is fixed honestly the potential this game has is huge but um, unfortunately it doesn't really do everything it could to be incredible um, I mean, you can see the potential just here, just by doing this, really. Oh, crap. What did I do with that wheel? Give me that wheel back. Thank you. There we go. So if we come over here, and I never know which one I need, I always pick up the wrong one. There we go. So that's those two installed. You can't really put things down very well. It's um, it's it's an underrealized game. This one. The biggest problem with it is that the race physics are not realistic. Oh man, I'm just thinking back to all the footage I lost on that previous video. You'll see the AI hopefully doing some crazy, crazy stuff. Um, in my first video. I had one race where one car had flipped over and landed on top of another one. And um, it was driving around the track with the you know, two two carts sort of merged together as one. But one was upside down and one was the right way up, but struggling, obviously. Right, let's see if we can actually jump in and drive. I think we could start a race here. We'll go to Grand Prix. You can see I've already done nine races. I've won every single one of them, and you'll see why in a minute. Because I'm such a good racer. So there's 30 Grand Prix in total. Um, again, I think more could be done with the Grand Prix. The tracks themselves could be improved. They could be a lot longer. Uh, they're very short. Um, they're fairly nicely put together. The graphics, I think, are pretty good. You know, adequate. But um, the handling and the physics are terrible. You can't play this with a wheel. Well, technically you can, but it's awful. It doesn't work properly. Right, watch the AI. He's gone. It's only one lap, so I'm going to have to overtake them at some point. I mean, look at this. Look, I'm not even trying here. And, and there is the problem. In first person view, the driving is okay. I'm using an Xbox controller. The driving is okay. It feels all right. But if you take a closer look at those wheels at the front, you'll notice that they're not actually attached to anything. You see how they just completely not attached to anything on the car at all. If I come out of first person view, the handling is bloody awful. But there you go. I mean, that is the entirety of the game, in a nutshell. Um, I'm going to try and sell my cart, I think. Um, all the stuff that um, sort of gets damaged, if you will. Uh, I believe it could be repaired. Let's have a look. Oops, the engine broke down completely. <laughs> okay, I've not seen that before. Now I've got a bit of a problem because I have no engine whatsoever. So what I need to do is I need to buy an engine. Now I've got to remember how to do this. Um, da -da 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 Bong. There we go. So you click on where the part was, and then you can pick the engine you want to buy. So I've got I've got loads of money, so I might as well go for the best engine, 35 HP, which is what it was before. Oh, no, 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 go back. And you'll see that it's arrived here. We unpackage it, slot it in spot, and then we have to go get, uh, I'm guessing, this, this one no oil in the engine so do you see do you see how your initial 
um, opinions of the game, and maybe you're like, oh, actually, that's quite good. Yeah, I mean, the racing is terrible, but I, I like the rest of it. It's like the game has huge potential, but um, it, it's been completely unrealised, um, which is a bit of a shame, because I think... The, the game has been released in its entirety. Um, that's that, that's basically the problem here. There's no um, website for it. There's no indication that they're going to continue developing it and improve it and make it better. But come on, God damn it! Wrong tool. <laughs> Let's try grabbing the right tool then. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's not terrible, is it? I just pressed, I just pressed B by accident. For some reason, B takes you back to the last race you were in. I don't know why it does that, but it does do that, and then it resets everything as well. Um, right, set the steering wheel off. See if I could fix that. And um, despite the insinuation on the Steam web page that you can sort of configure your vehicle like set up the gearing and stuff like that, you can't. Um, there is nothing... Oh, God damn it. No! Where's the drill? <laughs> the drill is resting on the go-kart, look. I have to try and get it off. Oh, man, I knew this was going to happen. There's a couple of issues with the game. Uh, where's the drill now? There it is. Thanks. Of course, it's the wrong one. I'm not being funny. I mean, the game isn't that simulated that you need to have two different types of drills. It's just irritating now. Put the wheel back on. I hope we can fix this. I bought this when I... When I bought the go-kart, this bit wasn't there. So I had to buy this, and it was bloody expensive. I'm glad it didn't break. But you can see just how much potential the game has. Um, but like I say, it's not been released in early access. There's no website to sort of confirm what updates they're going to bring in or anything like that. It, you know, it, Basically, I think this is it. I don't think they're going to update it at all. I think this is the full game. And it does appear that this is the, the game style that they're looking to create like really easy to build very cheap cheap and cheerful um but you know the problem is that potentially this could be excellent i'm really enjoying stripping parts off my go-kart and repairing them quote unquote but you know they could really improve all that kind of stuff as well and of course you can uh, change all the, the coloration and stuff. This was green when I bought it. So, it's all pretty good, really. Um, right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and fix all this up and then sell it so that you can see what it's like. I bet it's an impact reel, this one. Nope. Okay. Okay, last piece. La front bumper. Now, when you spray these, um, you just basically grab some paint off the wall here. You've got a couple of paints on the floor that because you can't put anything down properly. Um, so you just you get them off off that shelf there and. Um, Spray it a different colour. I'll, I'll do it so that you can see it. Right, let's go to paint market and then you pick your colour. Go for that one. It drops on the floor, you pick it up. And then you can't spray everything. So there you go. And if you <laughs> if you're not in exactly the right spot, it just drops it on the floor. You have to sort of aim at the green bit. It's kind of funny. So there you go. The whole go-kart now. 
it's had a complete respray. Can I spray the steering wheel? I tried this before, it didn't work. Yeah, it doesn't seem to work. No. So there you go. Now we have a fully functioning, well, except for this side skirt, which is at 43%. Should I just fix that up? Let's fix that up. Hope it doesn't break. Lovely. Jobs are good. Now that's interesting. It changed colour again. Did you notice that? <laughs> that's the wrong drill. So it's not done that before. That's the first time it's changed colour uh, when I've repaired it. But anyway, so uh, we'll jump in. And now you can see that the value has gone up to 2,871. So what I can do, well, actually, I don't know if you can sell that. Oh, you can. Start auction. So I've made 55 bucks profit, 182 profit. That's good. At least I have made some profit. So there you go, right? Okay, I've sold that now. So let's now go to the marketplace. And you see all these carts on the in various states of repair. That one's got no steering wheel. That one's missing a wheel. That one's just... I don't know what the hell's happened to that one. It's missing some parts anyway. And they're all in different stages of repair and condition and so on and so forth. Um, let's grab one at random. Oh, I like, the, I like the look of this one. Let's grab this one. Needs repair. Horsepower 20, which is a bit crappy, actually. Um, horsepower 20. Let's have a look over here. Ooh. Horsepower 20. But the last one I, the first one I bought, had horsepower 35, which uh, is great. But I, there you go. See, like this one's got 35 horsepower. So we'll purchase that. And there you go, look, see now we've got all these parts. But we're missing a front wheel, we've got no seats, we've got no uh, fuel tank. So we'll buy a wheel, 120 bucks. Buy another wheel, 120 bucks. Buy the seat. I don't know what benefit there is to buying the best quality seat. There's missing fuel tank, because it's not installed, but it is actually there. So here's the parts. First wheel. Then the seat. Pretty sure that's not the seat I bought, but whatever. It's not the right colour anyway. But you could, you could very much see how this could be quite, really quite a good little uh, game. Yeah, I knew it'd be the I knew it'd be the impact drill because it's the wheels, right? Yeah, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. So that's that. Put the seat in. Put the fuel tank in. Uh, missing. What does it say? Missing. So there's a few damaged bits, like the front bumper needs a bit of. Oh, we're missing the intake. Let's buy the most expensive intake you can get. Which you would think would possibly uh, increase the horsepower, right? Wrong tool. Of course. But it probably won't, to be fair. A bit of fuel in the fuel tank. The fuel tank is now 14% quality. Uh, we're good to race. Let's have a go. And the value of the car has gone up to 2,200 and something odd. So this is race 10. Now I was thinking maybe the AI get better, you know, when you get to the 11th race or whatever, but I don't think they're going to. Notice how they always go really wide and then crash into each other. There you go, look. So the physics are not realistic. The AI 
are absolutely atrocious. There's no challenge here whatsoever. Maybe if I bought the worst possible car I could buy, then it would be a bit more of a challenge. I don't know. But then why would you do that? Where's the logic in that? Should be the other way around, if anything. Um, but it's not awful. That's, that's the problem. Oh, crap. <laughs> It's not completely awful. Um, and, you know, I think there's a real product here. But it all comes down to whether or not they're willing to spend time and effort developing it. What, what, what they appear to be doing is getting um, pre-made, bespoke, uh, pre-made uh, generic um, things from the I don't know, Unreal Engine Market or wherever they're getting this from, wherever they're building this in. Um, and just putting together a game as quick as possible, you know. But clearly they have some skills because a lot of what's here is, is, is very good indeed. This part of the game could be incredible, I think. But it just, it just isn't, it's not fully realised. Now, I'm not going to say 100% <clears throat> don't recommend it. But I do feel it's got about an hour and a half to three hours maximum of, of gameplay before it becomes so boring and repetitive that there's no point in playing anymore. It's not like you've got seasons and at the end of the year um, you can you know see where you are in the standings and try and work your way up there's, there's none of that none of that exists there's so much potential here I mean the physics of the go-karts are horrendous um, they would have to literally look at that look at the AI they would literally have to redesign from the ground up their physics system because at the moment it doesn't work and the damage system isn't realistic at all and the degrading of parts is you know a bespoke number so you know you will lose 10% performance of your wheels with every race um, and so on and so forth but you know there is there is a real quality opportunity here you know if they devoted their time and effort to it I think there would be a market for this because this is what we want you know that kind of for people who wanted wanted to be a go-kart racer when they were kids and never got the opportunity like Lewis Hamilton did because his dad you know made it happen much respect to Lewis Hamilton's dad I have to say um, it's an opportunity to relive that experience with the the buying of broken go-karts Look at this guy, look. Ridiculous. Uh, the buying of broken go-karts and um, the repairing of them. There's also, you know, a lot of missing stuff, like the audio when you have a collision, going around corners, there's no tyre sounds, anything like that. There's a hell of a lot of work that this game would need to make it a really, really good game. But for £4.50, uh, you know, I'm kind of... I'm at the point where I'm like... If it was two quid, I'd say grab it. But at four pound fifty, I just feel like it, there's too much that's not good. If that makes sense, they've simplified it too much. They've done too little. I knew it'd be the wrong one. Anyway, um, hopefully that's that's pretty clear. Shows you what the game is all about. Gives you some idea of what to expect. Um, we'll do one more race, just because, I don't know, finish on a race, why not? I'll try and race this third person this time, let's see what happens. One lap. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't know what they've used to, um... All, all of them just wipe each other out. I don't know what they've used to <coughs> indicate or direct. <coughs> Excuse me, indicate or direct the AI drivers, but 
maybe they've used splines or something, but they, they really haven't put much time or effort into it, which is really, really evident from, from the gameplay itself. But the annoying thing is, they're clearly talented, they clearly do have some skills. The UI is pretty decent. Um, it could be so much a better game than it is, but I'm sorry. In its current state, I just don't see how I can recommend it like this. If there was a, a roadmap for stuff that was going to be fixed and enhanced and so on and so forth, then maybe it's justified, but I'll leave that up to you. What do you think, guys? Is it worth a buy? Is £5 too much? Is £5 about right? You know, what what, what do you expect for £5 these days? Um, personally, I expect a little bit more than this, but um, it's a shame, though, because clearly there are some great points to this game, and it could be so much better, couldn't it? Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Goodbye for now.